Mm. Hello friends. I wanted to add in a little bonus video for the series that I've done on grief for my email list recently. Um, if you're just finding this video because you found me through YouTube and you want to hop on my list, you can do that at ariamay.com. Would love to have you there. And so this exploration this past month uh, has been around grief and how can we safely feel and be with our grief. Uh, my experience, and uh, if anyone knew me in my early 20s, <laughs> was that I was really good at feeling grief, but I would go um, pretty deep in for pretty long and uh, ended up in some pretty depressed spaces. And so I'm grateful uh, for all of the, the mentors and, and uh, support I've had along the way to learn some things about feeling that uh, deep emotion um, without uh, drowning, um, which is what I used to do. I, I kind of uh, refer to it as the, the spiral of doom that I used to get sucked into and uh, really had no idea that there was another way to be with grief. And so I wanted to demonstrate some of the, the tips that I gave um, around uh, how to feel <laughs> without drowning. <laughs> And uh, today was a good day because uh, I actually woke up feeling like a, a, some sensation at my heart, a little heartache, if you will. And this is an experience that I have sometimes, like nothing even really necessarily needs to be wrong uh, with me or with my life. Um, it can uh, often be related to kind of the, the greater uh, experience that we're in together and um, just sort of the, the heartache that I feel around uh, the world and the state of things right now. Uh, whatever um, may want to be named there doesn't even really matter. For me, what's important is that I give my body some space to be with the feeling and allow it. Uh, allow it to move through safely. <laughs> so here's what I would would do, or I, I mean, I will do it right now. Um, but also, if I weren't recording this video, here's what I would do. So essentially, you know, starting with coming into the present moment. So for me, I'm going to do that. I'm going to look out the window and just kind of notice um, sort of a overcast day. And I'm going to notice my breath settling, taking a deep breath there as I look outside and I can see a couple of leaves hanging on the trees. It's late fall right now and just noticing them moving in the breeze and really feeling my body here now with that little bit of uh, just resourcing and orienting out the window. So then I'm going to invite myself to uh, feel what's present in my body and it's mostly at my heart and a little bit down into my solar plexus as well and it feels kind of like um, like a bit of a stabbing sensation in my heart like there's um, pressure there and then the solar plexus feels like a little bit of a knot almost and um I'm seeing if there's like a connection between those sensations and I can feel my body kind of like um, there's some movement happening in that in this area as I'm describing it um, like almost some uh, like jitters or um, yeah like uh, flutters <laughs> if you will um, so I'm just going to notice that and just kind of be with that and I'm going to breathe and I'm gonna let myself like feel the wave, the arc of the emotion. So I'm just gonna be quiet while I do that for a moment. start to come back and I'm going to orient now 
more fully orient. And I'm going to do that by looking really slowly around the room that I'm in, or it could be outside, wherever you are. And I'm going to look all the way behind me, letting my neck muscles and my hip muscles be a part of what helps me to turn. And I'm just going to see what's around me right now. So this is letting the body really take in everything that's present and in this way letting my body know that even though I just experienced being with that emotion that I'm actually safe, that there isn't a threat um, in this moment to my soma. And so then I'm gonna, I'll just point out um, resources. I'm gonna resource now that I've oriented and I can, I can feel my system settling even with just looking around both sides, just there. Um, and I'm gonna invite it to settle even more. I've got one of my favorite resources is a beautiful beeswax candle. And um, I'm gonna just focus on the flame for a moment. And for me, fire is very grounding, very, uh, comforting, supportive, and so I'll often have a candle lit um, if I'm needing that type of uh, elemental support <laughs> with the fire. <sighs> yeah, and just even noticing that little bit of sound coming is, uh, is supportive um, to just kind of let you know, any sound move in this space as well. So <sighs> maybe even a little smile can come into the mix. And I'll also point out that I'm holding that um, black moonstone crystal. And so this is another resource that I'll often find, uh, you know, something that um, uh, crystal or something soft to touch um, as, as a way to resource as well. Um, essential oils can be great. I have, you know, like, um, uh, you know, mist clearing sprays, those sorts of things can all be resources as well as just looking around and um, seeing, you know, beautiful art. I've got my, my hummingbird is a huge resource always <laughs> as well. Um, feeling, feeling the hummingbird love vibes. So, um, so yeah, now I can feel my system Oh, just settling even more and uh, kind of back to back to neutral and <laughs> back to coherence when uh, I started this video a couple minutes ago. So that's basically my process, right? And you can see that I'm not, I didn't hang out very long in the um, intentional opening of the emotion, right? I actually uh, only took a couple of breaths, like really being with that. Um, but when I was in that experience, because I know I wasn't talking, I can share a little bit more here. It was, um, you know, kind of staying a little bit on the edge of it. So a little bit outside where the most intensity was in my, in my body that I could feel. I was witnessing it from a little bit of a distance. So I wasn't like going right to the place where it like hurt the most. And then... Um, I was like noticing the, the wave of the emotion, watching it kind of rise and then fall again. And um, there was like almost like I was curious that there was going to be like a little bit more movement, like a little bit of like, um, you know, kind of moving into crying. My body didn't quite want to go there. So I just kind of let the system settle after that third breath. So it, you know, depending on how that looks as you watch it, um, you can kind of take take that in of just how gentle it really was, right? And so that experience, like if I were really upset and going into tears um, and crying, right, um, I, it would look pretty much the same with just, you know, the, <laughs> the added expression. Um, but I would, uh, try to just, you know, feel a couple of those waves and then invite my system to settle. Now, what's going to happen if you're feeling a lot, if there's, you know, been an event in your life, a major loss or something that you're grieving is that you're probably going to feel 
the waves of emotion like pulling at you, like kind of sucking you back in to, to feel more. But you can actually distance yourself and uh, take your time and go slower and um, what's called titrate, just like a little bit at a time um, with what your experience is there so that you're not overwhelming your, uh, your body and uh, like re-traumatizing or, or creating more trauma for the system by feeling like you're spun out in the vortex of doom. Um, so that's what, uh, what um, my process looks like. I hope this is uh, helpful for you to see and um, you know, just like uh, have these tools demonstrated in, in this visual way. Let me know any questions or comments. Always feel welcome to reach out to me, aria at ariamay.com. And um, be gentle with yourself. There's a lot moving. <laughs> There's a lot of energy uh, moving through right, right now. And so if you're feeling, you know, any sort of um, sadness, feeling down, feeling grief for any reason, you don't even need to know the reason. Just know that it's safe to let yourself feel and uh, you can always come back to the present moment, come back to your candle or whatever it is that resources you. Um, pets are great if you have a pet, uh, <laughs> always a great resource as well. Um, and so, yeah, many, many blessings on your journey with uh, allowing yourself to feel, feel your feelings. Big love. <laughs>